the Boeing 777. An airplane this large places special demands on its landing gear. This program will show you the operation of the nose and main landing gear for the Boeing 777. In part one, we will see the operation of the nose landing gear. And in part two, we will see the operation of the main landing gear. In both parts, we will begin with general operation and then take a closer look at the operation of specific components. In this program, we will be looking at the Boeing Company's nose and main gear actuation test rigs. This is to see things more clearly. Any component you see painted yellow or connected with orange wiring is test equipment and will not be part of the actual airplane. Part 1. Nose Gear Operation We'll begin by looking at the sequence of what happens during nose gear operation. The landing gear is controlled by the landing gear lever in the flight deck. When you put the lever in the up position, the gear unlocks, the doors open, and the gear begins to retract. Snubbers slow the gear when the gear is near fully retracted. When the gear is in the full up position, the gear locks and the doors close. The process is reversed during extension of the gear. First, the doors open, then the gear unlocks, and the gear extends. When the gear is fully down, it locks in the down position and the doors close. Now that we've seen the overall operation of the nose gear, let's take a closer look at the components that make all this happen. The lock actuator moves the lock mechanism to release the gear from the down and locked position. Then as the gear retracts fully, the actuator moves the lock mechanism to secure the gear in the up and locked position. To extend the gear, the actuator releases the lock mechanism and locks it again when the gear is fully extended. The nose landing gear operated sequence valve makes sure the forward doors move only when the nose gear is near the fully extended or fully retracted position. A linkage from the gear locking mechanism moves the valve through three positions. Gear down, gear in transit, and gear up. The nose landing gear door actuator opens and closes the forward nose landing gear doors. The doors must be open any time the gear is moving from down to up, or from up to down. The door operated sequence valve prevents the gear from moving up or down unless the doors are open. The sequence valve senses door position through a linkage to the left forward door. The nose landing gear retract actuator moves the nose gear only during the retract cycle. 
snubbers in the actuator control speed at both ends of the actuator stroke. Although gravity lowers the gear, flow restrictors in the actuator limit the return porting of hydraulic fluid from the actuator. This limits gear extension speed. This completes part one, nose gear operation. In part one, we have seen retraction and extension of the nose landing gear. We saw that when the nose gear retracts, first the nose gear unlocks, then the forward nose landing gear doors open, next the gear retracts and locks in the up position, and finally the forward doors close. We also saw that when the nose gear extends, the forward nose landing gear doors open, the nose gear unlocks, the gear extends, and locks in the down position. Finally, the forward doors close again. Part two, main gear operation. In part two, we will see the operation of the main landing gear. Again, we will begin with general operation, then move in for a closer look at the operation of specific components. Although the operation of the main landing gear is similar to the operation of the nose gear, there are several key differences. First, Actuators in the side brace and the drag brace unlock the lock links. Then the truck moves to the stow position. The main gear door unlocks and opens, and the gear retracts. Snubbers slow the gear as it nears the stowed position. Finally, the door closes. About 10 seconds after the gear locks, the auto off function removes hydraulic pressure from the system. When you move the landing gear lever to the down position, the door opens, the up lock assembly releases, the landing gear extends, and the truck tilts to the in flight position. When the gear is all the way down, actuators move the down locks to the locked position and the door closes and locks. Now that we've seen the sequence of the main landing gear operation, let's take a closer look at the components involved. The drag brace and the side brace hold the gear in the extended position. For the gear to retract, the down lock actuators must first unlock the lock links on the braces. When the gear extends, the down lock actuators push the lock links past over center to lock the gear in the down position. The truck positioner actuator moves the truck to the correct position, tilted with the forward wheels five degrees down for the stowed position. and 13 degrees forward wheels up when the gear is extended for landing. The drag brace operated sequence valve controls the door close operation during extension. A linkage from the upper drag brace spindle moves the valve. The up lock assembly holds the gear in the up position. Let's take a look at that again. As the gear roller moves the hook past the over center position, this linkage moves the up lock operated sequence valve to the lock position. The valve supplies hydraulic pressure to the door actuator to close the main landing gear door after the gear is up and locked. A similar up lock assembly holds the main landing gear door closed. When the door roller engages the up lock hook, 
the motion of the door and pressure in the door uplock actuator drive the hook to the locked position. To open the door, the door lock actuator moves the hook to the open position to release the roller. The main landing gear door actuator opens and closes the door. The door operated sequence valve controls hydraulic flow to the uplock actuator and the main landing gear retract actuator. A linkage from the door moves the valve as the door opens and closes. This completes part two, main gear operation. In part two, we have seen retraction and extension of the main landing gear. We saw that when the main gear retracts, first the drag and side braces unlock. Next, the truck moves to the stow position. The main landing gear door unlocks and opens. The gear retracts and locks in the up position. And the door closes and locks. When the main gear extends, the main landing gear door unlocks and opens. The main gear unlocks the gear extends, and the truck moves to the tilt position. Then the gear locks in the down position, and finally, the door closes again. This also ends our program, 777 Landing Gear Overview. We have seen the operation and location of major components for the nose and main landing gear for the Boeing 777.